Okay, welcome back. Let's get into editing these photos. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to use an app called Snapseed. Let me go find it. There it is, Snapseed, and that's the one I was working on. Okay, uh, it's probably going to ask you about... Yeah, 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 I'm going to open this up. Okay, so it might say, do I have permission to open up photos and say, yeah, always allow or allow to the whole library, whatever that little menu that might pop up saying, are you sure that this app can access your photos and just agree to it? Okay, so um, I'm opening up a new one here. I'm just gonna open from device. And let's go with uh, that rocker one there, this, this one here, my last photo I took. Okay, so step number one when you get a photo is you want to crop out anything unnecessary. So I'm just gonna go over here to the little pencil, which opens up all the editing tools, and I'm gonna select crop and I'm gonna just do a freestyle crop. I'm gonna bring it down just a bit. I don't wanna crop off the top of that guitar, actually. A lot of people would be drawn to crop right to, um, let me grab the corner there, to the top of her finger, but I actually like that guitar in the background, so I'm gonna to crop to that guitar, and you kinda of just pick an edge, edge at a time. I'm gonna go right over to her thumb. I don't mind cutting off this poster. Uh, I'm gonna come in this way just a little bit. I still want to see the arm of the microphone, and now let's talk about the bottom here. Let's just see. And you notice we still get the rule of thirds. Um, let's just see where we're at, just a little bit there. Okay, so crop off anything unnecessary. It looks like I've, I've taken it in just from all sides. I'm gonna hit the check mark here. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, the next thing I do is I usually apply a filter to it. So I've got a bunch of things here and I just wanna start looking at these things. Um, I'm just seeing which one matches the tone of this rocker thing that we're doing here. No. No, I don't like any of these. Maybe the pop one I like. Yeah, I'm gonna go with pop, okay? So I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and select the um, check mark for there. Now I'm gonna go back into here and uh, let's just see about adding a little bit of grunge to this here. Okay, so now there's the grunge been added to it and I've got a dot in the middle and it kind of accentuates where the center of the light is. Do you see how now she's in the dark over here? So I definitely want that on her face, but now her hand's out of focus. Hmm. So maybe just like that. So I get the hand is in focus, face is in focus. Ooh, now see the... I lucked out. I went right to grunge because I thought it would be something cool. I went right in here to grunge and I think we can stop. I think we just lucked out and really got a great image there. So I'm just going to get out of that and and uh, let me just see if I want to put a frame around it. I doubt it, but uh, let's see. Do we want a round frame? Maybe a little bit of this. Okay, okay, let's let's take a look at this. Yes, that's a little grungy frame. <gasps> we have a very artistic photo here, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna call that one done. And so I'm just gonna tap on the three dots. Sorry, I'm gonna tap on the share button. And I'm gonna say export, this bottom one here. So you wanna make a copy that has permanent changes to it. Boom, there we go. And then I'm also gonna do it again, and I'm gonna say save it so you can actually undo it. I'm gonna hit save and now it allows me, yeah, yeah, go ahead and say yes, allow it to modify. Okay, so we have it saved and we have it exported. And so now if we go to um, the Photos app here, you will see that I have, um, I have the one that I can edit and the one that's been exported here, okay? So they kind of look, they are exactly the same, but one is actually an editable file if we ever needed to go back in and fix anything. But I think we've got a really, I mean, look at that shot, right? That is a fantastic shot. Okay, so let's go through the steps again, because maybe you're thinking, Mr. Flick, you kind of went quick there. So let's, let's do another one here. Let's pick something completely different. So let's go back into Snapseed. I'm gonna go to Open, Open from Device, and let's go uh, maybe with some, something with someone not in it. So I'm just gonna do the sewing machine here. Okay, uh, step one always is to crop. So let me just turn on the crop tool. Okay, um, let's see here. Okay, so let's just see if there's anything unnecessary. Um, I, yeah, little, maybe a little bit on this edge can come in. I don't want to cut off her hands. Maybe a little bit from the top. That edge. I mean, I want people to still see it's a sewing machine. Now I'm really just kind of using the rule of thirds here a little bit. I want that 
line right on the needle, okay? So that's, that's why these grids stay on here because real photographers always use the rule of thirds, okay? And that's what makes for great photos. So I'm gonna lock that in. And then of course, the next step is always a filter. Uh, let's just pick something we, we might like here. Ooh, ooh, the pop one. Now you can see, you can't see it maybe on the video, but I can see the fine detail of the, of the stitching with the pop one. So I'm gonna just stop right there. Once you, once you find something you like, I mean, you could go look at all of them, I guess, and then like try to remember or, or take notes on a post-it note, but I love that one. Okay, I'm gonna lock that in, with checking the check mark. Open up the edit. Okay, this one wouldn't do good with, with grunge. So um, let's just maybe see about a lens blur. Okay, so now I can kind of move the focus dot on that needle and now like everything around this edge is in blurry. So now it's, it's like faking a high-end camera, okay? Now I could, um, I could expand that, oops. I can tap and, you know, like it, it, I can move it to where I want to, whatever's in focus. I can make her, you know, this thumbnail in focus and now, now the needle's out of focus. But I want the needle in focus. I'm gonna put it right there on the needle. Uh, you could open up different styles here. You know, we just have a circle um, and because that's what makes it look real. And I'm gonna stop it right there. I think we've got a really, you know, like look at now we've, we've blurred the edges here. Oh, that looks so good, so good, so good. Okay, lens blur worked good there. I'm gonna bring in maybe a little bit of a vignette on the edges here. Yes, okay, it just darkened the edge. I like the vignette. Okay, and um, I don't think a frame would go good with this at all. Grainy film, I don't want that. Let's see what drama, what we got here for drama. Uh, drama two, okay, that's black and, well, no, it's not quite black and white. It's the hands, no, that, no, I don't like any of these. I'm gonna X out of this. I think we gotta stop while we're ahead. I think we've got a great photo here that we've used some really nice effects on. Let's go in here to export it. And then, um, you know what? I like the save copy. The other one saves over the original, but let's just do save copy, because then, um, then we still have the original. So we can go back and look and say, oh, look at how good I've done. So always export it and then, because um, the export one is what you turn into me, okay? So if we go now back to our photos, um, you can see that we have, uh, where's the sewing machine? So we got the sewing machine, we got the original, and then you've got the edited one, and then you've got the, um, the one that we could go actually go back in and undo things, okay? But look at that. I mean, in the original one, look at how the scissors are in focus. But in this one, they're blurred and they're dark because I added that vignette to it. I've really highlighted the needle in the thread, and so that's it. Okay, so I think we've done enough for you to understand, but you, you get the steps. You go to Snapseed, you always crop the photo, crop out anything unnecessary or distracting, and then you go and apply a filter, and then go into the edit thing and, and just see if there's something more you can do it. We're trying to make very artistic photographs, okay? Now is the time. Now don't go crazy, but I mean, honestly, I mean, look at, look at this one here. Someone, someone would say that's crazy, but I think it's, it's so rocker, it's so, it's so appropriate. So what I'm really going to be measuring and grading you on is the appropriateness of your photo editing, okay? You know, am I gonna see it, it cropped correctly? Am I gonna see, you know, in focus what should be in focus and highlighted what should be highlighted and rule of thirds and, and those type of things. So um, you have your 10 subjects and I expect 10 edited photos and I can't wait to see what you turn in. I'm very excited to see some really artistic things being done here in the X-Tech studios. Have fun.